Hey there Capricorn, welcome to your October 2018 reading. This is your general reading, general love, whatever messages come through for you. Thank you all for everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. Those that have booked personal readings with me, I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get started. Capricorn, what is going on for you guys? October 2018, general energies please. The most important message for Capricorns. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Hard at work. Let's see. Okay. Queen of Cups. So you're trying to find your emotional stability. You've been working very hard to find that emotional stability. A stability. King of Wands. There is action that needs to take place. Look at that. King of Pentacles. You've got a lot of people in here. And the star card. We'll go, for, we'll go over everything in just a moment. Let me just get two more cards, please. Page of Pentacles. Again, it's a lot of characters, Capricorn. Why, though? And the world card. Okay, this is the Healing Light Tarot. For those that are not following me on Instagram, uh, I had my followers vote on the October decks. For readings okay so we'll be using the healing light tarot deck and the deviant moon tarot deck that I'll be pulling cards for in just a moment if you're interested in purchasing these decks the links are down below so Capricorn eight of Pentacles Queen of Cups King of Wands King of Pentacles the star card page of Pentacles and the world why why though Capricorn why do you have so many people here? Queen of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing, some of you are dealing with several different partners and partners of partners. Um, what I'm seeing here, because I'm feeling a lot of confusion for some of you, is that some of you who are coupled up with someone or paired up with someone, that person is dealing with their exes, which in turn, you're also dealing with their exes. If this is in business, you've got a lot of people trying to get all up in your business blocking you because I do feel as though there is a need for you to get it together. You being the king of pentacles at the center of all of this. You've been trying to heal. You've been trying to manifest. You've been trying to, you know, put away Everything that has gotten in your way, you're saying, no, not anymore. I've found the light. I'm feeling enlightened. I am awakening. It's time for me to take charge. It's time for me to move forward. I am now seeing the light that there is hope in whatever it is that I really put my mind, my action, my energy to. And these ugly feelings that I've had in the past of not being adequate, of not being able to do enough because no matter how much you put into it, it felt like it was never enough. It all comes to an end. You're closing out that cycle. You feel so much more renewed and refreshed. However, all these people here are speed bumps along the way. But beginning with the eight of pentacles, you are hard at work. No matter what that queen of cups says, no matter what that king of wands says, no matter what that page of pentacles says. So this could be another couple that you're dealing with, business or love. This could be an immature energy, a child that's in the family. Maybe, you know, you've maybe, maybe you've got a girlfriend that's a queen of cups. And their ex is the king of wands and they've got a earth sign child. You know, there's a lot of different energies here at play. But we're going to clarify that because, man, am I feeling like this is all over the place for you Capricorns. Let's pull some more cards with the Deviant Moon Tarot deck. What is going on for Capricorn? I really feel as though... Capricorns, you have some restless energy. It's not like you to feel this restless and you're just not feeling grounded at the moment. And you, there is a huge need for you to feel grounded, for you to find your space, go within, heal, 
really, really see that you have options. Knight of Swords. The options of how you're going to manifest things. Everything that you've been wanting. How you're going to move forward. Who you've got to put in their place, you know? Wow, these cards went flying all over the place. The minute I said that. Like those energies are not okay with you, you know, kicking them to the curb. Let's try this again. There is a need for you to, yeah, see, too many people, way too many people. If Venus in retrograde brings back unfinished business, page of pentacles, you've got it twice here. If Venus in retrograde brings back unfinished business, look at that, Knight of Pentacles. What? Capricorn. Wow. The Hanged Man. There's a few different scenarios here. I'm going to go through all of them in just a moment. Ten of Cups. Two more cards, please. Two more cards, please. Ten of Wands in reversed, which is funny because not a single one of my cards is in reverse. So those that are new to me, I do read reversals. However, not a single card in my deck is in reverse. So when they do come out, that meaning, that card is of significance to your situation. It is not to be ignored. It is not to be played down. One more card. I'll take one more card for Capricorn here. The Six of Wands. Victory and success. All these people are trying to give you their opinions of where things should go. And you're just like, uh-huh, that's nice and all. Mm -hmm. I got my own wand. Yeah, yeah, you guys want to play nice? Okay, but I got my own wand. I'm moving forward in my own way. You have the page of pentacles twice. So there are some ideas here. If this is about business, if this is about a job, personal life that has nothing to do with a relationship, there are some ideas here that you've had brewing that perhaps you've had in the back burner. And the reason why they haven't been happening is because you've got too many freaking people all up in your business. You've got a lot of naysayers saying, you know, maybe you should think about this. Maybe that's, you know, a risky move. You want to buy a house and they're just like, are you sure you're ready to buy a house? Are you sure you're ready to take on that responsibility of, um, sorry about that, that responsibility of, um, you know, having a house payment, whatever work you need to put into, you know, the house. Um, it's things like that. Perhaps it's, you know, thinking about a new business. Whatever it is, I do feel that there are way too many people giving you your, giving, giving their opinions. Most of them are unwarranted. You know, it's okay to listen. You'll probably get tired of listening. You'll probably get tired of people and their unwanted, unwarranted opinions. And that's okay. If you feel as though there are some people with negative energy that are just trying to, you know, cause stress and doubt, just remember who is in your corner, who is supportive of you. You are all about wanting to manifest, wanting to heal, wanting to move forward and creating positive new, you know, business or relationship ventures here. This is about a coming together. This is happy life. You've really, really thought about your options. You've really put some thought into dropping the stressors, dropping the weight. And for some, these people are the stressor that you're dropping with the 10 of wands reversed that allows you to move forward successfully. Queen of cups, king of wands, page of pentacles twice, knight of pentacles, and knight of swords. So whatever forward movement you have, however slow it may be, there is a need for you to cut away the excess 
for you to set up safe boundaries, for you to continue working towards what you want for yourself. You want to manifest abundance? Manifest abundance. Cut away the people that are holding you back. Cut away the situations that are holding you back. You want to manifest a perfect partnership, happy life, happy wife, you know, children, blended family, whatever it may be. Really take the time to come to your own, you know, truth to create this sense of happy family, to have this healing bring you a sense of hope into leaving behind the ten of wands, the people, the situations that have held you back. The hanged man is here because there, because there is a need for you to take a little bit of a break, but not because you're breaking completely away and detaching away from everyone, but because you need to take the time to really you know, weigh out your options, make wiser decisions, weigh out the options so that when you make the final decision, it's firm. You let people know, you know what, thanks for your input, thanks for your advice, but my mind is made up. I appreciate your time, I appreciate your concern. Take the time to, you know, listen to whatever they may have to say. If you choose to, you don't have to. And really move forward on whatever it is you're trying to build for yourself. I feel that for some of you here, this is about creating new, new financial endeavors. But it's still very much in the idea stage, right? It's still very much in the, I'm thinking of getting another job, but you haven't started looking for another job. I'm thinking of, you know, starting a new business on the side, even though I've got a full-time job. I'm thinking of going back to school, even though I've got a family and I work full-time. King of Pentacles is here, right in the center. Gain your emotional stability, your emotional balance. Feel that fire within you. Realize that with healing, there is hope. To bring those ideas to fruition, you have the Page of Pentacles here twice. And the Knight of Pentacles, no matter how slow Mr. Knight of Pentacles is, forward movement is still movement. And if you need to keep stopping, you know, that's why there's rest areas when we road trip, right? Because there is a need to take those necessary breaks, to stretch your legs out, take some time, you know, do a little mental or emotional or financial check-in. Where am I at? Is this how I wanted things to work out? Am I doing right by me? Am I honoring myself? Am I shortchanging myself? Am I shortchanging others because I'm so committed to this? But you definitely get to a point of, it's about time that I get me a job that I start a career, that I go back to be able to bring about this new path of emotional stability and happiness. So you hate your freaking job and you know what you want to do with your life and you decide to re-enroll in school and say, hey, you know what? I've been working this dead-end job for 15 years. Going back to school to make my you know, to make that transition towards a new career, towards a new, you know, trade or job or whatever field that it is you're trying to go to. Why? Because you have this attraction to, you have this affinity to, you know that that will be a place of employment, a, an area of employment that will bring about happiness. You are hard at work at creating these options, these ideas of how to manifest this. You have been working on yourself for so long. However slow it might be. And don't let anybody, you know, say otherwise. Like, oh, wow, you're still trying to figure that out? Yeah, and what? Forward movement is still movement. In the end, you drop the wands. You drop the wands and you have success and victory with the Six of Wands. Okay, I'm gonna pull some Oracle cards for you before we end this reading. 
Messages from your angels oracle. What message do you have for Capricorn for the month of October 2018? Let me have a message, please. Well, that was fast. And look at that. These are so synchronistic. They've been so good. I mean, super synchronistic. They've been pairing up with my readings incredibly well. Angel Maya, schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. And that's what I'm feeling for many of you. You know, you're thinking, you know, how can I expand? How can I create you know, the, the, the life, the stability, the whatever it is that you're trying to create, right? You want stability, you want consistency, you want your pentacles all lined up in a row. How can I create that? Do I need to go back to school? Do I need additional training? Do I need to take a workshop? Do I need to take a break so that I can figure that out? You have so many ideas and it's just about picking the right one, the right path. And you're working towards it. One more card, please. One more card, just, just because, just for fun. I love it. Angel Isabella, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Hello, Capricorn. If you were looking for a sign, well, there it is. Okay, Archangel Michael, I call unto you. I welcome you into this reading for Capricorn. What message of guidance do you have for Capricorns? October 2018. <coughs> Excuse me. Archangel Michael. <coughs> Archangel Michael. Message for Capricorns, October 2018. <laughs> new beginnings and a fresh start. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. I freaking love it. So yeah, you're looking for a sign. Do I take this new path? Do I start this new, you know, business? Do I go back to school so that I can expand? Some of you just need to, you know, do a few extra hours or go back to trade school, get certificated just so that you can charge like an extra $10 an hour or whatever it is, right? Do it. Seriously, Capricorn, you guys are like, have like the best work ethic. You guys are workaholics. I'm surprised you haven't done it yet. I feel like pulling an Angels of Abundance card before I pull a Whispers of Love card. My big old crystal clear quartz here. And my citrine. Okay, Angels of Abundance Oracle deck. Angels of Abundance, what message do you have for Capricorns for October 2018? What's the most important message you have for Capricorns, Angels of Abundance? Okay. Focus on your priorities. Where you put focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Okay, so for those of you that have been a little weary about going back to school or you know, a little weary of putting in more effort into changing, um, you know, careers or place of employment. Maybe it's within the same, you know, um, within the same field, but different company, you know, maybe you work in law, but you're going to go to a different aspect of the law. Okay, here we go. Whispers of Love Oracle. What message do you have for Capricorn, October 2018? Okay. And two cards flew out. 
demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. So if you have a bunch of people here that are not being, you know, your encouraging support system that you need, demonstrate love. Let them know that you are doing this to better yourself. You are doing this to better your future. Whatever it may be, the right people will be in your corner, will be your support system. And so for those of you that are thinking of going back to school, of getting certification, getting additional training to be able to expand your horizons when it comes to your place of employment, back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. So maybe your current place of employment isn't exactly what you thought it was going to be. And so now you're trying to figure out, you know, what do I do? Where do I go? This isn't what it's cracked up to be. Completely not what I was expecting. So stay hard at work. Realize all the options that you have. You are the king of pentacles. You have the Midas touch. Whatever your hand touches, whatever ideas you feel like exploring, expanding on. Because I feel that need, that sense of expansion for you, Capricorn. Do it. Do it. New beginnings and a fresh start. Focus on your priorities. Demonstrate love. Go back to school if that's what you want. And know that this is the right time to start something new. Capricorn, this has been a really awesome reading for you. So if you'd like a personal reading so that I could touch up on your personal energies, just let me know. Everything is in the description box below. I'm also holding an October special. 10 card Celtic cross for 31 US dollars. You can book instantly with the link in the description box. If you're not already subscribed to me, if this resonated to you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I absolutely appreciate everybody's support. You guys have been so awesome and amazing. I will hopefully do a mid-month check-in just to see where we're at for general and love Capricorns. Talk to you soon. Bye.